Hello everyone, Neon Jigglypuff here, and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we were called to the... Yoshi? Des? What are you doing? Okay. Okay then. Blah. Okay. So last episode, we, we, we were called to the... Ugh. Wow, I was doing it so flawlessly until Yoshi distracted me. Thanks, Desi Des. Um, we were called to the juice store, or the watering hole, and we got a new hammer, being a super hammer, and we also learned this... Cool little spinny move, which is pretty cool. I like it. And we also got a mysterious email to go back to the minor league locker room and smash the blockade. Hmm. But doesn't that sound a bit familiar to you guys? So, remember, when Bandy Andy told us about those whole seven uh, wonders, right? I said that there's a sealed wall in the ma not in Major League, in the minor league uh, uh, locker room where they hide the remains of lost fighters in that, you know, sealed wall in the minor league locker room that we're about to go in right now, and we're going to smash the sealed wall. Uh, guys, I don't know about this. Are we about to see something really creepy here? Ah, uh, Gonzalez, isn't it? So I got that word that you want to move back to the major league locker room. I mean, minor league. I can't say I understand why. Anyway, go on in. I thought it was against the rules that, like, I thought we weren't supposed to be back here anymore. But okay. Oh. Hey, guys. Thanks, Mr. Stinkwad. What are you doing here? If you want to fight outside the ring, I'll give you a fight, you big jake. Aw, oh, they're back in the major league. Sorry, guys. Sir Swoop, how you been? Mr. Gonzalez, you're back in the minor league? What's the matter, bomb? Did you leave something, bomb, in here? Wait, I said it backwards. Not backwards, but wrong. Did you leave something in here, bomb? Grack! Is Mustache in here to laugh at Collector? Grack! No, I'm not here to laugh at you. I'm here to destroy the sealed wall in the minor league locker room. Guys, get ready. Brace yourselves. We could see something really bad here. Remains of lost fighters. What? What? So the theory was wrong? That sucks! All that's in here is a bunch of books and a broken computer. That's it? Anyway, there's something over here. If we flutter jump here, we can get... You got a devious paper. It looks like it has a lot of important stuff on there. Okay. There's no remains of dead fighters, thank God, but there's something in here at least. Interesting. Whoa, Gonzalez! That's some kind of scientific paper on the Crystal Stars! Who'd be investigating those things inside us? They even took pictures! The X-Nauts, maybe? It must be the X-Nauts. Totally something like this lying around. This just reeks of funny business. That you are right about, Dizzy Des. So, are the X-Nauts here? Because we haven't seen them at all. Could this be the work of the X-Nauts? Oh! You again. Mr. Gonzalez, what are you doing in here? Jesus, you show up at the wrong, you show up at the worst times, what? This is the minor league locker room. The major league athletes are forbidden. Even if it weren't, it's hardly appropriate to bash down our walls, hmm? Yeah, I'll bash down your walls. Uh, I mean, I'll be confiscating this, thank you very much. I hate you. I'll bust down your walls, but I hate you. Oh, I mean, toads are humanoids, doesn't matter. Dang, what's with her? We busted our humps to get that information. Some people has got a brain on parades. Well, at least we know the Crystal Star is here. That is, that is right. At least we do know it's here, but... Jolene, you always show up at the wrong time. Wait a minute. Can I go back in there? Oh, I can't go back in there. I want to see what happened if I... Oh, okay. I want to see what happened if I... Or served a match in there. I haven't done it before. Oh, well, I guess we'll never see it. Oh, I just say I could have went back and... Well, that's my own fault. Oh, well, I can always just, you know, use one of my backup files and go in there anyway. And if anything important happens, I guess I'll put it in the, the uh, video. If not, then I'll just leave it out. Or I can make a separate thing. I don't know yet, but that's really all we have to do. So I guess we can just go back in the Major League locker room and continue fighting. But it's interesting, so that means that 
that wonder that uh, Bandy Andy told us about the sealed wall. Sure, there's no remains of like uh, fighters in there, but there was something behind there, and it was a sealed wall, which means that that actually had some truth to it. So I wonder if that one mystery had some truth in it. Do the others? That's interesting. I don't know if I checked this already, but I kind of want to check these lockers. I don't know if I already did it, because I forgot, admittedly. But I'm going to just check these. And I'll skip ahead if I don't find Nope, it. nothing. But this music, this is very, very mysterious music. I like this song a lot, because of how, like, eerie, mysterious it is. Like, sometimes... Like, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Like, sometimes when something weird happens, where I just play the song in my head because it's very nice. It, it fits the tone. Like, it's a eerie tone. Like, hmm. I don't know how to explain it. It just, you know. If you guys can hear it. In fact, you know what? I'll stay quiet for a little bit and let you guys listen to it. That's enough. Even though they all walked all over the music. I'll stop again some other time. How do you tell? It's going to fight, huh? Yep, I want to fight. Let's see who we're going to fight. Rank 7. The Let's pit the Shell Shockers. Now listen, son. Keep that partner from attacking. Okay, we can't. Our partner can attack. Sorry, Dizzy Des. I guess you can't attack. Gonzalez, it's time for your next match. You know what? Since... Actually, you know what? Screw Goop. Screw Goop. Okay, that right there was the weirdest mic glitch I have ever heard. You know what? Miss No Arms is cute, but we have a new partner. I, I want to give him some, some screen time, you know? Actually, I don't know if it's a he or a she. I guess it's just whatever you want it to be. Stamped after a girl, but doesn't really look too feminine. I don't know. You guys can decide. If they can take us? Ah! So-called Great Gonzalez. Don't think I'm gonna go easy on you, baby. Alright. This is like a blue version of KP. Koopa. KP Koopa. King K. I really miss King K. Maybe he's like his cousin or something? He's not really as nice as King K. But anyway, let's use our new attack, the Super Hammer, on these guys. Perfect, and it hits all enemies on the ground. They have seven, they have eight HP each, that is insane. Oh, I forgot, our partner cannot attack, so, um, I guess you can appeal. There you go. Oh, he's cute. Ooh, oh, I didn't counter. Wait, I'm gonna try it. Ooh, I did it. Okay, one more time. Okay, I'm getting my timing down for the Koopas. That's good. Let's use another... Okay, I want to see... What does Clock Out do? Oh, I know what it does. It freezes enemies. You know what? I'll save it. I'll show it a bit later in the chapter. Because it's not really important now. I'll use this one instead. Because this is actually a pretty good star power attack. So I'll, I'll use this one. Oops. Oh, I screwed it up too early. Hit the okay, so we hit the paratrooper at least, or the shady Koopa, and then you can't do anything, so um, you can appeal again. Nope, too early. Ooh, we got the counter down. Oh, we got the okay. I'm really proud of that. I'm really, really proud of that. Okay, now. I'm gonna use multi bounce. Perfect. And now there's only one more Koopa left. Wait, uh, you can appeal again because we need more star power anyway, so it's good to appeal right now. Oh, I wish I countered that. It ended off really great. I almost said greatly. Is that even a word? Greatly? I don't know. Boom! And there he goes. We're almost to a level up, too. Look at that. Wait, what? We did level up! I just realized, the crowd are Coopers and Dry Boners. Okay, FP, HP. I'm actually gonna go for BP, because there's something I want to equip. So I'm gonna go for BP, and then next I'll probably go for FP. The Great Gonzalez, there we go. Ha 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 ha, how'd the floor taste? What? Gonzalez! Oh, look who's back for revenge, guys. I forgot about this. Woo, Nella! I don't believe my eyes, folks! The Iron... Okay, what? they keep changing their name. I thought they were the... The Armed Harriets or something like that. Harriets? Whatever, something like that. They keep changing their name. Twins are in for rage! You made us look like suckers the other day, and now you're gonna pay for it! 
Oh, a little tired from your match, great stink wad. Too bad. Prepare for pain. Here's another mini boss, guys. The oh, Toad's even got a fire flower. Thank you, Toad. That's really, really. Oh, there's a shy guy in the crowd. Oh, that's that's that could be bad because you know, shy guys love to uh, cause trouble. All right, Yoshi, do your thing. Mario. There's really nothing Mario can do. I don't think even star power can do anything, so... All Mario can do is... Uh, appeal. There you go. Because there's not much he can do. Yoshi got a block. Oh, and... Oh, God. Yoshi's getting weak. Don't worry, Yoshi. Actually, you know what? The bed... We can heal in the bed. Don't waste items. Gulp! And they're gone. Super simple. Easy mini boss. Probably get free 10 experience points. I'll take it. That's good. Alrighty. Ugh. We lost after that. We reek. Hoo wee! That's our great Gonzalez. Friends and neighbors. Kid don't even blink when the Iron Harriers barge an attack. Woo! Tough. He's too dang tough. Yeah. This kid's all a battle for bigger things, folks. Until next time, everyone. See ya. That was an ordeal. Here's their fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Thank you, Jolene. Twelve coins. That's really good. And now I am rank seven. Enough. Now, if you excuse me, I'll be going. I must be going. I mean. Gonzalez, another email. What now? Keep sticking your nose where it doesn't belong and you are dead meat. Man, that dude sounds peeved. I'm thinking that isn't our ex buddy. Who do you think would send something like that? I don't know, Des. Who could... I actually have no idea who, could do, who, who that could be. But before I do anything, I want to take a nice little nap and refill our HP because we are both pooped after fighting those rocks. Okay, there we go. And before I do anything, I want to see if I can equip that badge that I got. The quick change badge. I really, really hope I can. And you know what? Maybe I'll sacrifice some things. Power bounce. I don't really need this anymore. Okay, I'll sacrifice that. I have three, and now I can get rid of one. Um, I'll get rid of last stand P. And then I'll equip quick change. It's a lot of stuff I had to sacrifice, but hey. Don't worry, I'll get them back later on when I eventually uh, level up again, because I will level up again. Okay, let's get another match. We got a weird email from somebody, but let's not get it to our heads, so let's just continue. The Magic Koopa Masters, okay, rank six. Keep that part. You don't want our partner attacking again? Really? Okay. I guess our partner can't attack. That's weird. Okay, then. Why again? Okay, I guess our partner can't attack. That's sus! I just... I just used quick change, and now I can change our partner whenever I want in battle, and it won't take up a turn. I'll show it off in battle since, you know, it won't do anything, but still. Alright, let's see. We're, we're fighting three Magikoopas. Let's see. You fool would do well to feel our dark magic. Alright, get ready to battle! Now, let me show you what quick change actually does in battle. It's... Pretty, it's actually pretty good, but it costs so much, but I kind of see why. So in tactics, if we want to change our partner, we can actually change our partner at will without changing a turn at all. Look at that. I can keep on changing it as many times as I want. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I can change as many times as I want without it taking up a turn, unless I screw up and click appeal instead of changing partner. Okay, I can take less damage, okay. That's nice, I guess. But Coops, what? The white one, okay, so, oh my God. So if you're wondering, the white mage is a healer, the red mage is the one that attacks, and the green one is what causes, you know, effects on the teammates. So you gotta, I would say get, rid of white first and then green and then red um 
I don't know about you, but I'm gonna charge. I want to tower off my myself. Then Cooper, you can, well, defend actually, because <laughs> because you're getting pretty weak. Oh, what? They can also boost their own stats as well. I thought only Green was a stat booster. Okay, Coops is actually dying. Great. Now I can only attack the. Okay, tactics. Going down. This is okay. This battle took weight. Screw you. No. That toad who gave me the fire flower. Thank you. I ended up using it in this battle, and I hope he's proud. That battle took way way too long. It took way longer than it should have. Oh, at least Flurry was there to take all the hits. That's why she's a tank. She's good. Okay, I, I need money after that. Thank you. 13 coins. I, I deserve that. Yes, go, go. Do it. whatever you do, weirdo. Hey, you, Gonzalez. Jolene bought you a piece of cake from, from a fan, I guess. Ooh, cake from a fan? Hmm, you know what? Who deserves this cake the most? Which one of my four friends deserves this cake the most? Cake the most, I mean. Goombella, you've been here since the beginning. Coops, you're cool, I like you. Flurry. Flurry. From Flurry. And then Dizzy Des. You know what? Des deserves it. Because remember, this is for her birthday. This is for her birthday. So you know what? Here, Dez. Take it. This is for you. I'm just drooling. Here you go, take the cake. It's for you. Heck yeah. Fully recovered. Perfect. So you know what? I think I'm going to end the episode off here. I know it may be a short one, but I'm going to end it off here. And I will continue on later. So if you guys know this episode... Oh, I said it backwards again. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. And if you guys enjoyed, please do not forget to leave a like, subscribe, favor, and comment. And tell me, what is your favorite cake? That's the question of the day. What's your favorite type of cake? My favorite cake is probably red velvet. I really, really love red velvet cake. And I gotta make some one day. Eventually. What's yours? Is it vanilla? Is it vanilla sprinkle? Is it chocolate? Is it... Angel's food? Devil's food? Is it... Um... Strawberry shortcake? I don't know. Tell me in the comments. I really want to know. Mine is red velvet, as I just said three seconds ago. And, uh, yeah. That all said, I will see you in the next episode. Uh, see you later, guys!